He is known for being a Byzantine Greek eunuch official and chief minister to Byzantine Empress Irene of Athens. He effectively ruled as regent for her young son, Emperor Constantine VI. His name is Storakios. In the tumultuous world of Byzantine politics, one figure stands out, Storakios, a eunuch official who played a pivotal role in the reign of Empress Irene of Athens. Serving as her chief minister during her regency for her young son, Emperor Constantine VI, Storakios wielded immense power and influence from 780 to 790. However, his grip on power was short-lived, as a military revolt in 790 led to his overthrow and exile. But fate had more in store for Storakios. In 792, he was restored to power alongside Empress Irene. Together, they embarked on a ruthless campaign to eliminate any threats to their rule. Tragically, this included Irene's own son, Constantine VI, whom they removed, blinded, and possibly even murdered in 797. Storakios' involvement in these dark deeds showcased his ambition and willingness to do whatever it took to secure his position. However, Storakios' own ambitions would eventually lead to his downfall. As another powerful eunuch, Edios, rose to prominence, tensions between the two grew. Their rivalry threatened to tear apart the empire until it was finally resolved by Storakios' death. His passing marked the end of an era and highlighted the treacherous nature of Byzantine politics, where power struggles and rivalries often determined the fate of empires. In the Byzantine Empire, during the reign of Empress Irene, a fierce rivalry unfolded between two powerful eunuchs. Storakios, a trusted servant of the Empress, found himself in a constant struggle with Edios, another influential eunuch. Their ultimate goal was to secure control of the Empire after Irene's death by placing their relatives in positions of power. The rivalry between Storakios and Edios reached its peak when Irene fell seriously ill in May 799. Edios, with the support of the domestic of the schools, accused Storakios of plotting to usurp the throne. Irene called a council at the Palace of Hyeria to address the accusations. Storakios was rebuked but managed to escape with a mere apology. However, this only fueled his determination to counterattack. Storakios began preparing for his own move, bribing members of the Tagmata, the Byzantine military units. Despite lacking support among higher command echelons, he still aspired to seize the imperial throne, even though eunuchs were legally barred from doing so. Edios, alerted by the imminent threat, warned Empress Irene of Storakios' plans. In response, Irene issued strict orders in February 800, forbidding any military personnel from having contact with Storakios. This measure effectively curbed his ambitions and created a delicate balance between Storakios and Edios, with the latter still enjoying the support of Nikita's Trifilios, the domestic of the schools. However, tragedy struck when Storakios fell gravely ill, coughing up blood. Despite his severe illness, Storakios was convinced by doctors, monks, and soothsayers that he would not only survive but also become the emperor of Byzantium. Filled with this belief, he instigated a revolt in Cappadocia against his rival Edios, who had already secured the position of Strategos of the Anatolic theme. Unfortunately for Storakios, news of the revolt reached the capital before it could gain momentum. On June 3, 800, Storakios succumbed to his illness and passed away. Do you want to explore more politician or military strategist? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.